Yeah, the norm, so here it's asking for the norm of each function. Uh, the norm is defined by, uh, of a function, let's say a, in general, is defined as integral from a to b. Uh, of complex conjugate of A times A, right? Dx. And then, and then you take the square root of that. This is the norm. Because, uh, because when you do this, uh, When you do this, say dx, and this is function x, this is function x, from a to b, you just get a to b ax squared dx. And this is called the norm squared. So here, for cosine, if, if your ax is cosine and x, we're doing, uh, we're doing number 1 on 0 pi, cosine and x. So if a is cosine and x on 0 pi, then uh, so is a, a complex conjugate of this is itself. And so to find the norm, uh, you'd have to uh, multiply them. So cosine nx, cosine nx, dx, from 0 to pi, and then when you're done, you have to take the square root. That's n. OK, let's, uh, let's carry over the integration. So if I do that, uh, you'll get 0 to pi cosine squared nx dx. Uh, cosine squared, you use trig identity. Uh, which is one, <clears throat> one half, one half uh, cosine squared is one plus uh, cosine two n x dx, and uh, uh, if I integrate this piece by piece, so the first one is x, the second one is cosine. 2nx and the chain rule over 2n from 0 to pi. You should be attempting this one. You shouldn't just be looking. Uh, and so this is from 0 to pi. And uh, pi, this is pi plus cosine 2n pi over 2n minus 0, minus cosine 0 over 2n. And uh, so if I were to simplify here, I will get uh, 1 half uh, pi. Now, this is even here. And so this will get me 1 cosine even multiple of pi is uh, 1, so this is 1 over 2n, and the last one is 1 over 2n, so these go away, 
and we will get pi over 2 and therefore the norm of this is square root pi over 2 this is the norm so then the normalized function it says uh, uh, then it says state the uh, uh, state the normalized function. So the so the normalized function is uh, the normalized function. Uh, so uh, the Uh, this is just flipping the answer around. Um, we know that uh, uh, n squared uh, we know that n normalizes the function so uh, so n times the normalized function let's say phi uh, has to equal a so if the normalized function is phi, then phi will equal uh, n minus 1 times a. And so this will be 2 over pi times uh, the cosine function that we normalized. There you go. This is the normalized function.